Okay, I've set up another burn. I'll make another lot of charcoal, and what I've done, I've made an extension to the chimney just to take the, uh, you know, the smoke, the steam away from the houses, trying to stop the neighbours from moaning. So it's a fair old length, is that? And uh, I'll show you a closer look at it. It's just an extension I can take on and off. You know, it's about level with the tree now, so hopefully the wind will take it up and away. You know, rather than down, there's the handles I can take it off with. The fire's going great guns now. And, I don't know whether this will pick it up, but the gas pipe, taking the wood gas down into the burner and helping it burn, you can actually hear the gas, the wood gas going through the pipe and down. You can hear that. You can actually hear it going down into the base there and helping with the burn. You can hear it better down there. Definitely hear the gas. Again, it's roughly about 450 degrees Fahrenheit and yeah it's burning well now I mean, at the moment I've probably done about six burns seven burns I've got a barrel full of perfect charcoal but the steam's coming out now as you can see really well but I like that sound of the gas Coming through the pipe. It's really good that. Yeah. Okay. As you can see the fire's well a lit a light now. And this is like what, a couple of hours later from when I started this video. And the temperature, well, it's five hundred degrees Fahrenheit on the outer tank. Okay. Back to the cook. As you can see from a different angle, it's well alight now and it's doing its job. And the smoke you see coming from down there, mostly it is, you know, it's a bit damp, the wood's a bit damp for the fire. But it dries almost immediately as I put it in. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's not bad, is it, eh? And it's taking it up and away. Hopefully, it's not the bloody neighbours morning. And uh, when it cools down, I'll take it off to prep for the next burn. You know, you've seen the charcoal, what I make, it's uh, pardon the pun, shit up. And this is the barrel full of charcoal I've just been telling you about. It's full to the top. I'd say we're about the same size as the 55 gallon drum. But it's overflowing with perfect charcoal. Absolutely perfect. Bang on. Look at that. Lovely. And every one has actually cooked to perfection. You know, you can break it like that. So easy to break, look. And it's large lump charcoal, it's not small bitty stuff. It's large lump, and every cook I do, the wood's exactly the same. You know, it's big lumps. And to get the fire going, I use some of it because I was struggling because it's been pissing it down. So I used some of this charcoal, and it <laughs> it were a, it were a light within minutes, fully a light. And that's just to get the fire going for the next burn, you know, which you see, which, which you've already seen. But as I said to you, it's bang on, absolutely perfect. And what I've done, 
at the moment you see I'm storing it in my storeroom what I made a couple of years ago keep it dry how you don't ever keep it over the winter in here fine no problem you know but uh, yeah my aim is to make uh, quite a lot of it ready set for next spring summer and plus the winter as well this winter you know bonfire night and all that lot if we have people round it would be fantastic and it glows brilliantly